Welcome to the Harvesting Wisdom Podcast. Together we explore the vast landscapes of life, delving into the rich soil of experiences, sowing the seeds of curiosity, and harvesting the profound wisdom that each episode unfolds. Hi, everyone. Welcome back. My name is Madison Myers. And today on today's episode of Behind the Scenes of Harvesting Wisdom, I am joined by Ed Williams from Lear Garden System. Um, thank you so much for being here. Thank um, you for having me. Can you just tell us, let's just get started and just tell us a little bit about who you are, a little bit about what you do, and uh, just give us like the general layout. Um, I am a civil engineer by profession. Um, I started experimenting my hobby as engineering with ecology, okay. actually using those engineering principles. And so when I moved to Phoenix back in 2012, I started experimenting with how can I make something that is going to take advantage of the, we, we have full 12 month gardening here, but it's going to be able to survive the summer. So how, how can I create an automated system that, that can survive the summer without a lot of efforts. And it turns out that part of what I did different was that I used the biology as part of the automation. Mm. And it turns out that it worked a whole lot better than I ever yeah. thought it would. So it's, it's sort of t given me a, a different career path and it's been a heck of a ride. Yeah, I can imagine. So for someone who has like no idea about the Lear Garden system, what is it? Like what is it at its most basic and what can it be for someone who wants to have one? It can be a lot actually. Yeah. <laughs> so a, a Lear Garden is, like I said, it's an automated garden system. Um, the, the the basic functionality of it is that there's a, a, garden, a raised garden bed mm -hmm. um, and there's a tank that sits below. So the, the watering is automated, so the water gets pumped out of the tank, flows into, if start with a compost bin, it has a built-in compost bin. Okay. That's where the fertilizer comes in. So the mm -hmm. compost breaks down uh, in place. And then as the water flows through, it picks up the nutrients, flows through uh, the soil where the plants are growing, and then flows out, drains down to the other side, back to the tank. So it's very water efficient. Um, the garden, instead of uh, producing, uh, instead of adding soil to it, we actually add um, new, uh, materials uh, okay, yeah. to, to break down. So wood chips and food waste. Uh, cool. where we can get it. And so the, the what we'll do is we'll put, we'll put about an inch of finished compost on top. We plant directly into the wood chips. And then the wood chips are going to feed the soil organisms while they break down. And so it's, it's an active compost bin that's composting while the plants grow in it. Um, and what that does is it, it really helps the biology. It makes the plants um, a lot more resilient. Yeah. Um, we have a lot better survivability through the summer heat. Um, and then, of course, the, the side benefit of that is when those wood chips are broken down, we pull that out. And what we've been discovering is that the, um, the soil that comes out of it is, is really more appropriately classified as a biostimulant. Very um, there's cool. at least six different kinds of biostimulants in there. And it's, it's something that has pretty enormous possibilities um, in terms of potentially restoring some of the soil degradation that we're looking at. Wow. So one of the things that we're looking at doing is because a Lear garden is so low maintenance, like it's, everything's automated. So, um, you know, we're talking on the, in the neighborhood of about an hour a month. Oh, wow. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's very little. It's um, a lot of, a lot of brain power goes in on the front end to make it more user friendly in the long run. Exactly. Right? Yeah. yeah. I, I, I look at it as uh, one of, one of my soapboxes is the difference, understanding the difference between management and, uh, technology. Yeah. Management is the application of uh, a high-level skill set hands-on, and technology is the application of a high-level skill set at a distance. Yeah. Um, okay. And so most gardening, most uh, uh, regenerative agriculture, a lot of those techniques mm -hmm. are, rely very heavily on management. And the problem, the limitation is that we need people who are going to get in there and learn how to do it to to opt in to be a part of that solution. And there's not enough people doing that. Yes. Um, whereas if we can develop a technology, which is what a Lear Garden is designed to be, that is going to be using those regenerative principles, that then we can get more people involved. You can in... rely less on the people taking the initiative. Exactly. Yeah. All right. That kind of leads me to our my last question for our little segment here. 
what is what is one thing that you would kind of encourage people who don't know a lot about at home gardening who haven't maybe even gardened at all in their life like what's one piece of advice you can give them for getting started I think, you know, one of the things that I've discovered in, in gardening is there's a journey that most gardeners get. And the, and the, the big question is how far, how many steps along this journey yes, are they going to yeah. take? So the first journey is you start off as a gardener thinking, I got to take care of my plants. The first step that you really take along that journey is understanding that I don't take care of my plants. My <laughs> soil is going to take care of my plants. Yeah. And then um, the soil, the, I'm going to take care of the soil. The soil takes care of the plants. Mm -hmm. And so... The next step, which a lot of people don't necessarily get to, is understanding that um, the soil is alive. Yes. And yeah. then this, the next step, which even fewer people get to, is understanding that if it's alive, we've got to feed it. Yeah. Very interesting. Thank you so much. I, I'm I'm not as advanced as a gardener, but I do do a garden every single season. My dad and I do a salsa garden. So we grow like tomatoes nice. and peppers and it's not much, but I think it's just it's just a start to being a little bit more sustainable and to getting having a little bit more understanding of agriculture. Absolutely. Everything you can do is, is beneficial. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining us. And thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to watch the full interview with Ed Williams um, after this episode with Mike McMahon. Thank you all so much. And we'll see you next time. Thank you for joining the Harvesting Wisdom Podcast. Click subscribe and like for ongoing insightful conversations. Explore our webpage for show notes and additional resources. Visit our guests webpage for deeper insights. Your engagement is the foundation of our journey. And until next time, keep pursuing wisdom. Thank you.